Sorry, just to go over that uh, Malcolm's attitude once more. Yeah, he just... He didn't like me because I was a junkie. He tried to keep me and sit apart for months and months and months. Like, we had to keep the clandestine secret, everything. And um, finally he just gave up because he couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it. So he just kept saying, look, I want to hang around with who I want to hang around with, and I'll have to stay in my place who I want to stay in my place, and you're not going to tell me who not to. So just fuck off. And he just gave up. So now well, I guess we could say we're on speaking terms again. Today, police received an ambulance call at the Chelsea Hotel on West 23rd Street. In room 100, Sid Vicious was sitting on the bed near his picture. In the bathroom was the 20-year-old American girl he'd lived with for two years. Nancy Laura Spungen had been stabbed to death. Police say a collapsible hunting knife lay nearby. Neon Leon, a rock artist, was with Sid Vicious and Nancy early this morning. Which I find it kind of hard to believe knowing him outside of the context of, you know, the image of what the Sex Pistols were supposed to be, anarchy and, you know, uh, destroying everything. Violence and with, But he really loved this person. He loved her more than he loved his music. Vicious' real name is John Simon Ritchie, and he's been booked for murder. When they transferred him to a detention center, it took four men to hold him. Sid Vicious fought his way through a barricade of cameras. But this time, it wasn't for show. The wild, the wild, the wild.